Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Part 18. I'm Kenny. I'm Cam. And we're fucking investigating. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Especially a piece of shit SUV like no that. No kidding. What a junker. There's food and magazines in the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Alright, can we swim this- can we swing this over? Swing we what over? The screen. Oh yeah, that's right. You need my help for that. Hi yo. There we go. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. Huh. Interesting. Like a bird camera. A bird camera? Well, I don't know, yeah. You must know. Uh, people take pictures of birds on lakes and shit. Oh yeah. You must take pictures when it's triggered by a noise. Oh. So it reacts to sound. <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting. Ah. Okay. Hey, there's a couple that... little bits that are coming back to you. I... Wait, cool. Let's try it out. I haven't really been this far. I can't remember exactly how far you've been in this case. But anyway, let's try it out. Cough. Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh. God damn it. Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? I know. The party popper? Oop. Nice work. It responded. Eh. <laughs> uh. Do you want to handle Southern Lady? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh. Yo! Hey, <laughs> you, get your hands off of that. Eek. What in the sand hill? Okay, I chose the right accent. You did. <laughs> Look what you done now. There a goes film. a whole roll of my film. A precious antique film. A precious antique cans. Oh, sorry. Sorry it's nice, but it don't pay my bills. You know how much a roll of that film costs? I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking sending off a party popper in a place like this? Um, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country pumpkin. Well, your head looks like a pumpkin. Yeah, so it's not too far off the mark. Nope. Yeah, I know y'all think y yanks think. I say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why, they must be dumb. Well... Well, let me tell you. Just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Nick, help. And who are you now? A chaperone? Yeah, um, no. Rather, um, we're sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all gonna get, gonna say and say it for Beelzebub Jizz. Beelzebub Jizz. Beelzebub? I combine the two together. But Jizzums. But Jizzums say? God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. No oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. <laughs> nice. I'm really sorry. Burner. Alright, so who the fuck is this? Um. What? What? Catch. <laughs> what? 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 Uh. Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole row. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would uh, get her attention. Zip. <laughs> Jesus. Um. <laughs> uh, check out my sweet attorney's name. Exactly, it's on my lapel. What were you guys thinking? <laughs> uh, uh, what? Can't you think I'm see I'm changing the camera film here? Blah blah. Oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. same thing. 
Okay, so we, maybe we have to show our sweet attorney's badge. Oh my god. I am so excited with how many times, as of late, we've had to show our <laughs> sweet attorney's badge. I am so happy. I, you're This is my badge. Huh? My badge is supposed to be all shiny and impressive. You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that <laughs> film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestle meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? A moida. Moida. Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You two, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did May get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. That was close. <laughs> I almost jumped in. I can talk yank for you if you, <clears throat> if it please you. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm a lot of, lot of hearts. <laughs> Y'all gonna call me Lotta. I'm here photographing media showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet y'all. Okay, now maybe we can talk to her oh, about the other fuck. stuff. Tell you the truth, your badge is a lot more impressive than you are. Binch. Ah, ha, ha, oh. Mm. We feed you and give you a place to live, man. Yeah, exactly. You better show your respect. Yeah, show some respect. Oh, yeah? When was that murder, anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the uh, night on Christmas Eve. That's so? Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. I'm not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I see enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which one I seen anyway. Okay. Moving on. So, what is it you do, Lara? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know, do you? Actually, I'm a researcher student at Country U. Right in the heart of the hot lane. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at a university. Country U. Oh, shit. Uh, so I hear. So, uh, when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photo... Oh. <laughs> what are you photo... What are you photographing? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors, yep, meteor showers. Falling stars. That reminds me, I had a delicious chicken burger earlier and I had to wash it down my esophagus with some orange juice. Esophagus? I got that one from one of my teachers. Oh, God. Esophagus. Or phagus. Ah. <sighs> so many dumb ways to say words. It's it wonderful. Is. Especially the more scientific, the easier it is to make them sound dumb. Oh, absolutely. That's quite the camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German May, the genuine soul again. The Sonnengen. Isn't that where they make knives? Hmm. So, what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Huh, <laughs> device? Oh, right. Whoops. It started moving all by itself when I fired my par my parkey popper. Oh, that. That triggered the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat. <laughs> okay, I guess we're done unless we can, like, present her own camera to her and ask her more about it. Lara. Yeah. So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Yep. 
Actually, the victim in this case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I don't look and see it, see it by film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, don't remember if there was anything on them. What if I ain't got... But what if I got something I could be a witness to a genuine murder? Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay... She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. I eat. That's fine. That's fine. That's bad fine. Let's get out of here. Nobody here. Nobody here. Yeah. I go back here and see what's up. And nothing. nothing. To the park entrance. To the park entrance. Gord Lake. Uh, yeah, criminal affairs. We can go talk to Gil. Maybe. Boom. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. How long has this meeting possibly be? <laughs> I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, man. Um, fucking red tape. Fucking bureaucracy. Hey. Oh, there he is. Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting for the better or the worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to blank right now. It's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I think he sees those things every, almost every day. Yeah, no kidding. He's like, uh, thanks. Neat. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Fine. Edward, why are you doing this, my friend? So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. That is true. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Yeah, it's still you. Sure, Mr. Edge. Sure, Mr. Edge was human like you or me. Still, I get a feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hide again. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? Because they're all dicks. That's right. So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial start tomorrow is scheduled. <clears throat> I see. Uh, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go tell anyone about else about that, pal. Uh, yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Uh, okay, trusting Edgeworth. No, it's okay. How can you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I like to think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? Yeah, well... See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets defendants declared guilty. Every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We gotta earn that trust in places in us. I see. 
Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that, pal. And then we got our autopsy report. Oh, I'll give you that. We need it. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Know that. Yeah, I made a copy for you. Nice. Nice. That, Thank you. That is very good. Mm, yeah, it's very good. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. That exoskeleton. The, that exoskeleton. <laughs> Someone you know? I I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Hmm. Well, I guess we're done with gumshoe. Uh, ah, let's go to the detention center. Nobody's here. Nobody's home. <laughs> Fuck. Um, oh, let's go to the law office and see. Okay. No, oh, yeah, well. there's progress. What is it? Oh. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Well, don't. Feminine do troubles? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, what? Let's not Whoa. act like it's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I I remember now. This guy. I I feel like I. This is the lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. Cam's trying to do too many things at once. I am trying to do too many things at once. I met him once when I went there to hang out with my sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Yeah. Well, look at that. Right, that guy. A familiar face. That was the last name I expected to come up. Yeah, no shit. What was he the... He was in the case before this. Uh, no, he was in the second case. Yeah. Or, yeah, the case before the last, I mean. So. Yeah. Alright, ma'am. What do you gotta say? Well, what should we do? Hmm. The police pretty much made up their minds that Mr. Edgeworth did it. And Mr. Edgeworth won't tell us anything. I guess we could go look for clues down by the lake? Right. Any ideas? I right, so you're getting very good at timing it out so you know when to actually fucking hit the button without fucking looking. Cause he's surfing around on his phone. I'm not surfing around. Thoughts, thoughts. Yeah. Why won't Mr. Edgeworth tell us anything? And, and, and why did he refuse to ask for our help? That's something we just don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's something uh, we just don't fucking know at this point. What a jerk. It's not that he's a jerk. We don't know what his motivations are. He has a motive, obviously. We just don't know it. Tell us your secret, Edgeworth. Tell us your secret. Trust us. Let us love you, Edgeworth. You Let bastard. me love you. You bastard. <laughs> uh, I think we have to go to Grody Burgers. Oh, shit. Did I miss that? I, no, we didn't get the... the... Uh, ba, 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 ba. It's not there. Yeah, you're right. It isn't. What the fuck? She brought it up, and maybe we, maybe it's okay. We might have to. We might have to do the Gord Lake bit. Well, it was either that, or we can only get there from our office. Because mm. you know how fucked the move yeah, command that's is true. in this game. Well, let's go back here see if she's developed the film. I guess she has. Okay. That's you. Hey, y'all. Lada. <laughs> Wait a sec. We got bingo. Bingo. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. Neat. This is them. Take a look. Okay. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with a pistol. It looks like that, yes. You can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night. Tin strangle a bullfrog. Oh. Just okay. But you know, 
seeing these photos remind me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Oh, come on. Not another one of these. The people that always think they're a witness, but they don't know shit about shit. Uh -huh. <clears throat> you got that right. Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Uh, uh, she's gonna fucking go anyway. I reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? <clears throat> What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. Oh crap. I'm a sensitive lady. Yeah, okay, sure you are. Uh, I fucking knew. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Well, at least I got us a picture. Oh. Wait, Laura. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Uh, t tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. Ah, oh, you, you fuck you. Without <laughs> us, you wouldn't have even known. Yeah, no oh. kidding. You owe us one. That's it, Maya. Get out the chloroform. Yep. It's time to fucking work her over. Work her over until she tells us the truth. The pistol whip this bitch all night. <laughs> Tell us your secrets. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, no. I gotta win you back, baby. You're fucking guilty, aren't you? Even if I gotta pistol whip this guy all night, <laughs> I gotta win you back. I think Snake wins his old lady back. Even if I have to pistol whip this guy all night, I think he has pistol nothing. Pistol whip. <laughs> and there's like his thought is like a giant tub of pistol whip, and he's using the butt end of a gun to eat the pistol whip out of the fucking. It just says pistol whip. So stupid. I remember that episode. Oh, man. How are we doing for time? I think we're getting pretty close here, but we still got some time. Excellent. All right. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Ew. What a... You pinch. Don't only get your skivvies in a bunch, friends, today. Enemies tomorrow. It wasn't the other way around. No matter. I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. We'll break you down. We'll fucking break you. <laughs> she left. God, I can't remember which episode I did that in. She's like, break him. Yes. So intense. That's super intense. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the initial trial tomorrow. She. All right. That's fucking... We calling it? Or are we moving it? We are moving it. Moving out. Roger that. <laughs> it, it's kind of weird. Like, I'm very used to being near all the timers and shit like that. Not for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of know... I think Quacken pointed out that's my catchphrase. It is completely involuntary. Yeah, it's, it's going in the Ankbot, by the way. Uh, I'm going to make a cam command. Uh, fuck! And I'm just going to take the sound from this, and I'm going to cut that bit where you just went off for fuck's sake, and it's going to be a sound command. Well, I guess it, well, as long as it's used appropriately, use it appropriately, good friends. Of course. <laughs> Looks like the police have given up on their questioning. I'm going to have to make one for Jason, too. <laughs> hey. I think you were doing... No, never mind. I'll cover this for now. Ah. Nick, I think Sin is mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Dad? <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> Nick, you, you know came Santa? Back. Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. You said you were going for a pack of smokes, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, you never came back. You never came back. You said you were going out for Chinese food. <laughs> that was 18 years ago. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. No, I wasn't. Dude, it's me. Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? Was I doing Larry? I, yeah, I think you were doing Larry. No way. I just didn't want to spoil who that was. Son of a bitch. Yep. Do you even remember the voice I you gave to no him? I have no fucking clue what the voice is. 
Okay, well, bear with me. For the last three minutes of this episode, I'm going to just make up a voice for Larry. Uh, slightly pathetic party animal. I think that was kind of the theme. That seems to be a common theme. Uh, <laughs> a drugged out kid star coke fiend. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? I gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl, Keance. <laughs> <laughs> Deserves the best. She's, uh... <laughs> she sounds like the kind of girl the expensive date. Keance. Not another model, I hope. Oh, Keance's a fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear the costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? Oh, sweet Jesus. She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Yeah. You Good for you. Wow, a Santa costume? She must be really nice. Or really kinky. Yeah, or, yeah. Maybe that is just her fetish. She makes me dress up like odd goth uncle. <laughs> she calls it goth uncling. <laughs> she calls it goth uncling. <laughs> uh, Flight of the Concord is great. It is. <laughs> Whoa, cute. Nick, who is she? She's not your... Not my what? No, 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 she's not. She's underaged. I was gonna say something really inappropriate there. Good thing I caught you. <laughs> what? I feel with my own conscience, is he? Uh, sure. I'm his partner, May F.A. But not like that. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick. You must be must tough. must be tough. Wow. Oops, right, that was you. Yeah. Fuck. Part of the problem is when the other person starts doing it, your brain shuts off. Like, Yeah, you're just like, oh, okay, he's got it. He's like, oh, he's doing it. And then you're like, hey, wait, it's supposed to be me. <laughs> Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. No, no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. That makes sense. Huh? Sounds great. And he's checked out. <laughs> Don't worry, May, he's not listening. Yeah, God. God damn it. Well, let's wrap up with Larry here, and then we'll call it. I believe that's true. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. You work here? Have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonce, obviously. <laughs> Fuck. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Ugh. I guess not. I think um, what you what you just said got him off guard, man. Yeah, because obviously Keontae doesn't exist. Wow. <laughs> no, it's just Keontae's not in town right now. Oh my god! See, evidence. She she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. Of course. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to respond to that. A model. I knew it. How the hell does Larry keep scoring models anyway? Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Doesn't Phoenix, like, comment on that in the first... He's like, there's always, like, beautiful women or something like that? I can't remember what it was. Yeah, he just was apparently hit with the ladies for, like, a week. <laughs> huh. huh, me. Nert. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Up Nick. Uh, why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty perfect. Let's talk about samurai dogs. Samurai dogs. Uh, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. Samurai! Why are they samurai dogs? No, I mean, they look kind of gourd-shaped. Ew, gourd-shaped hot dogs? Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. That's... Ouch. That sucks. Barely clever. That, that, that is barely clever. The samurai! thing was Keontae's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. Oh, God. Buddy, I think she thinks you're batting for the other team. Uh, oh. 
Well, it's not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think it's been a miscommunication. <laughs> she made me that banner. Oh my god. Does it not sound like that? It, it kind of does, yeah. That's fine, that's cool, but... Gotta clear that up. Yeah, that's some, you know, that's something you want to tackle sooner rather than later. Exactly. It's only gonna get worse, Larry. Yeah, it's all downhill from here. All downhill from here. Man, the kids can't get enough of these Saturday dogs. <laughs> oh, we just fucking we put the ridiculous on that one word. Yeah. Something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G Gordy. There's that name again. Let's talk about Edgeworth, though. Yeah. So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow. I never knew. Don't get me wrong. He's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be, the, like, the father. Like his father? Yeah. Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Defense lawyer, you say? Defense lawyer. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee. Fuck's sakes. Ugh. I hate you, Larry. Ugh. No, no. He's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed in his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Nick? Uh, apparently we drew a blank. Apparently. Oh, I think Phoenix knows more. It's like dramatic irony. Yeah, I think he's knowing more than he's letting on. We're gonna have to look at Gordy. But we're gonna have to do it next time. Yeah, we're gonna have to fucking minor cliffhang it. Don't worry, you'll be able to hang on long enough. Alright, so we'll see you guys next time. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. And all that good shit. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace, nerds.